and welcome to another GE MDS training video. In this video, we will be covering the configuration of IPsec, also known as Internet Protocol Security, on the GE MDS Orbit MCR via the command line interface. This is part two of a multi-part series of IPsec videos. Please see our other videos on this topic as well. Configuring IPsec on the Orbit MCR consists of the following. Configuring the VPN service, which includes the Ike policy, Ike peers, IPsec policy, and IPsec connections. Configuring the firewall service, which includes configuring a cell IP address set, a local NETS address set, a remote NETS address set, the input filter, the output filter, and a NAT rule. Next, we will configure the cell interface by verifying the correct input firewall filter is being used the correct output firewall filter is being used, and the correct NAT rule is being used. The CLI on the Orbit MCR can be reached in many ways. You can connect to the COM port, you can use the USB port, you can SSH, and finally the CLI is available on the web interface as well. Any of these methods will suffice. The first thing you will want to do is log in as an administrator. After logging in, you are given the operator level prompt. Whenever you see the greater than symbol as the prompt, this is known as the operator prompt. Next you will want to type configure and press enter. Now you will see the prompt has changed to a percent symbol. This is the configuration mode prompt. To begin, we will first work on the VPN service parameters in the order previously given. This means we will start with the Ike policy. We will type set services VPN Ike policy, then we'll give it a name. For this example, we'll just call it Ike policy name. auth-method, then pre-shared-key, then enter. Next we will type set services VPN Ike policy like policy name, pre-shared key, then you will need to give it a pre-shared key. For this we will just call it this is my PSK. Note that these commands can be typed individually as we just did or as a chain. For example we could have typed set services VPN Ike policy Ike policy name auth-method pre-shared-key pre-shared-key again, then the pre-shared key, and we would have ended up with the same result. Now we will set the Ike version to Ike v2 using the command set services VPN Ike policy Ike policy name version Ike v2. Both ends of the tunnel must be set to the same Ike version. Whenever possible, it is best to set both sides to Ike v2. Next we will set the cipher suite. To do this we will type set services VPN Ike policy Ike policy name cipher suite and then we'll give it a name. For this example we'll call it cipher suite name. Then encryption dash algo that's A L G O then AES one twenty eight dash C B C then Mac dash algo then SHA-256-HMAC, then DH-GROUP, DH-14, then press enter. Note that you may add additional cipher suites if you are connecting to devices that support different algorithms. We are now done with the Ike policy and can move on to the Ike peer. First we will reference the Ike policy that we just created by typing set services VPN Ike peer, Ike peer name, Ike dash policy, Ike policy name, that's the name we're giving it for this example, then press enter. Next we will declare the peer endpoint and declare the role as an initiator by typing set services VPN Ike peer, Ike peer name, peer dash endpoint, address, then the address. This will be the public IP address of the IPsec gateway you are trying to connect to. Then set services VPN Ike P 
peer, hike peer name, role, then initiator. In the Orbit MCR, when you set the role to initiator, it will respond to IPsec connections, but it will also initiate them. Where the responder role will tell the Orbit to only listen for incoming connections. Now we can move on to the IPsec policy. Here we will simply set the Cypher Suite algorithms much like we did with the Ike policy. These can be different or the same depending on the device you are trying to connect to. We will type set services VPN IPsec policy, IPsec policy name, Cypher Suite, then the Cypher Suite name, encryption algo, AES128 CBC, MAC algo, SHA 256 HMAC, then DH group, DH14, then press enter. That is all that needs to be set on the IPsec policy. The last part of the VPN service that needs to be configured is the IPsec connection. First, we will reference the IKE peer and the IPsec policy we have already created. To do this, we type set services VPN IPsec connection. Then we'll give it a name. For this example, we'll just call it IPsec connection name. IKE peer, then the IKE peer name, IPsec policy, the IPsec policy name, and then press enter. Next, we will enter the local subnet and remote subnet information by typing set services VPN IPsec connection IPsec connection name, then local IP subnet. And for our example, we'll use 192.168.1.0 forward slash 24, then remote IP subnets, and we'll use 192.168.2.0 slash 24, then press enter. Lastly, for the connection, we will declare firewall rules. Type set services VPN IPsec connection, IPsec connection name, filter, input, then we'll use the in trusted rule, then output, and we'll use the out trusted rule, then press enter. The VPN service configuration is now complete. Now we can move on to the firewall rule section. First, we'll create a blank address set called cell-ip. We will do this by typing set services firewall address-set, then cell-ip, then press enter. Next, we'll create a remote nets address set containing the remote subnet. Note that this should match the remote subnets we just created in the IPsec connection. To do this, we'll type set services firewall address-set remote-nets addresses then open bracket 192.168.2.0 forward slash 24, then close bracket, then press enter. Now we need to set the local nets address set. This will contain any local subnets you have on the orbit. By default, all local interfaces are in the bridge and will be in the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 subnet. If this has been modified, then it will also need to be modified here. For our example, we will enter set services firewall address dash set local dash nets addresses then open bracket 192.168.1.0 forward slash 24 then close bracket then press enter. Assuming the cell interface will be using the default rules of in untrusted and out untrusted, we will simply modify the existing rules to allow Ike and ESP traffic into the orbit. By default, the in untrusted rule comes with a rule 1, a rule 2, and a rule 10. We don't want to break those rules, so we will create a new rule called rule 3. To do this, type set services firewall filter in untrusted rule 3 match protocol UDP DST port services, then Ike, then press enter. Now we want to allow that rule's traffic into the orbit. So we will type set services firewall filter in untrusted rule three actions action accept then press enter. Now we will want to do the same thing for the ESP traffic. We'll type set services firewall filter in untrusted 
rule four, match protocol ESP, then press enter. Then much like we did in the previous rule, we'll type set services firewall filter in untrusted rule four actions action accept, then press enter. Next, we'll modify the out untrusted rule. Type set services firewall filter out untrusted rule one match source dash address then address dash set then the cell dash IP address set then press enter then we'll type set services firewall filter out untrusted rule one match src dash address at source address add dash interface dash address and then true then press enter Next, we will enter set services firewall filter out untrusted rule one actions action accept then press enter. Now we want to create a rule two by typing set services firewall filter out untrusted rule two match src dash address then address dash set and local dash nets then press enter. Next, we'll type set services firewall filter out untrusted rule two match DST dash address not address dash set then remote dash nets then press enter. Now we want to type set services firewall filter out untrusted rule two actions action accept and press enter. Now we want to modify the default NAT rule. To do this, type set services firewall NAT source rule dash set. Then the pre-existing rule is called MASQ for masquerade, so we'll, we'll type MASQ. Then rule one match SRC dash address address dash set. Then local dash nets. Then press enter. Next, we'll type set services firewall NAT source rule dash set. MASQ, this is case sensitive, rule 1 match DST dash address, then not address dash set, and we'll enter the remote dash nets, then press enter. Now we'll type set services firewall NAT source rule dash set MASQ rule 1 source dash NAT interface then press enter. Our configuration is now complete. We just want to verify that the cell interface is using the correct input firewall rule, the correct output firewall rule, and the correct NAT rule. Finally we'll type set services VPN enabled true then press enter. Now we want to commit our changes by typing commit then press enter and our configuration is now complete.